so welcome back to the customized windows video guys and in this guide we will show you quite simple things which we always talk about first first we are doing an ssh to the server next we have a, an existing backup that you have seen this is the way we can log into mysql this is the where we will wk it so very easy and then we are to root so we are showing you all the files and root uh, there is some backup of my.cnf as well because we are using for various guides but this is if unzip is not installed you have to install unzip or save it as tar file forever so here is the SQL BR SQL backup. So clear the screen. Again, uh, you need to run some things which are very important. Show databases. I am you can hear a keyword struck, sound of keyword struck. Use FATPASS. Yes, that I was changed my SQL. So this is short tables followed by enter. We have exited it. Well, create database. We write create database WordPress. Well, you have to use create database your desired name that is my example in our case in the same way create user WordPress user no it is not what this is it is your difficult username for example is examples user and identified by password but first should be um, very difficult to guess like this one correct now we have to grant all privilege on the database to WordPress user that is the you or create which user you have created to the server which will use this database. That simply means if it is a different instance, you have to use the serviceness IP in case of Rackspace. And in case of other wireless, you have to use their private IP. If there is no private IP, it is very risky and slow. So in that case, if there is no private IP, possibly it is better to use uh, one server configuration because it is not scalable way to use. Um, I mean, it is not a very safer way to use public IP for connecting to database. So, this is the things we will do. That is, the format of this command is like this. You have it's kind of just executing a bash script. So, very first and we are ending the video right here by just showing you the tables. So, thank you very much for watching this video.